enjoy doing the flag ceremony as well. We get to come out, but any opportunity that we get is very special. For any of you that are in attendance in the uh, audience today that are veterans, uh, you please raise your hand and be recognized. Thank you again for your service, for your contributions to your country. We're drawn here together in the sight of God and to pay our last respects to a symbol of our great nation, America, the land of the free and the home of the brave. The U.S. flag code reads, the flag, when it is in such a condition that it is no longer fitting emblem for display, should be destroyed in a dignified way, preferably by burning. The Boy Scouts of America re recommends when the national flag is worn beyond repair, burn it thoroughly and completely on a modest but blazing fire. This should be done in a simple manner with dignity and respect. Be sure the flag is reduced to ashes unrecognizable as its former self. In keeping with the law of the land and the recommendations of our organization, we present you these American flags, the symbol of our great nation who has served its useful life as a symbol of freedom to our country for retirement. I can have you all please rise and uh, recite the Pledge of Allegiance with me. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, so I wanted to uh, do a special ceremony tonight, something that we have not yet done as a troop. I've done it in the past, um, but this is called the Voice of the Flag. I am your flag. I was born on June 14, 1777. I am more than just a piece of cloth shaped into a colorful design. I'm a silent sentinel of freedom for the greatest sovereign nation on earth. I am the inspiration for which American patriots gave their lives and fortunes. I am the emblem of America. I have led your sons into battle from Valley Forge to Vietnam. I have been there through the Civil War, two world wars, Gettysburg, Flanders, Korea, Gulf War, and Afghanistan, all of them. I was there with George Washington, Abraham Lincoln, Teddy Roosevelt, John F. Kennedy, and I'm here with you now. I have flown through peace and war, through strife and prosperity, and amidst it all, I have always been respected. My red stripes symbolize the blood spilled in defense of this glorious nation. My white stripes, the burning tears shed by Americans who've lost their sons and daughters in battle. My blue field represents God's heaven under which I fly. And my stars clustered together unify the 50 states as one for God and country. I am old glory. And I proudly wave high, honor me, respect me, and define me with, and defend me with your lives. Never let our enemies tear me down from my lofty position, at least I never return. Keep alight the fires of patriotism, strive earnestly for the spirit of democracy, and keep me always as a symbol of freedom, liberty, and peace in our country. When comes the time that I am old and faded, do not let me fly in despair. Rather, retire me from my duties only to replace me with a new flag so that I may continue to symbolize our country. Prepare to retire the colors. As you can see, this banner of freedom before you is worn, tattered, and soiled from usage and age. Her broad stripes no longer a fiery red and appear white, but faded and worn out. The stars and blue background are no longer vivid reminders of our blue skies and our great land, of the purity, vigilance, and justice she should represent. She has flown proudly over the years and has done her job well. 
but now she must be replaced with a new flag to proudly represent this nation of ours. Retire the colors. Crip salute. Ready, two. Oh, 